Here we go. The main event. The big boys. The big boys. And the last time we saw Brando out, he made short work of a very, very accomplished champion. He seems to make short work of a lot of people, man. He's been pretty busy of late. Uh, Five on diamond back. He went over to the World Championship. The, uh, the Wacker World Championship, I believe. Came up unlucky there. And needs um, but it's definitely. 79. With no further ado, I introduce to you, fighting from this red corner here, training in the league in New Zealand under Wayne Vega. With a fight career of five fights, four wins and one loss, let's hear it for Junior Tupafia. Hundred plus kilos, big boys thrown down. Big boys. And this boy is big. So yeah, a bit of info on just how busy Brando's been. This is his third fight in a month. His third fight in a month, which is pretty that's unprecedented for heavyweights, man. That's impressive for you, sure. You don't you don't really see that from heavyweights, man. They don't usually they take damage because you know, they're such big here. heavy boys. But then you see the other way. Sometimes these boys get in and, and out his super quick tonight. because they're getting hurt super quick. We'll be quick. fighting from this blue corner here. Adelaide Zoe training at the Red Star under the trainer Simon Beach with a fight career of eight fights, six wins, two losses, and six big knockouts. Get out your noise makers and make some noise for Brando Perugy! And the crowd makes some noise for Big Bulk and Bear Brando. Fifth, fifth fight for the year. He won the super heavyweight Commonwealth title at the last Knees of Fury against a guy that had over 50 fights, nearly 60 fights. 60 fights experience. And it shows Brando with some serious knockout power for a super heavyweight. He is so athletic for a guy his size, man. He moves so well for a guy that weighs 126 kilos. Yeah, official weight yesterday, 126 kilos. That's a big boy. He flew to Bosnia by himself. Brando! To compete for the Waco World title. Perugic! He fought against a four-time world champion, a two-time European champion over there. Plus and European champions have no joke, man. Europe it's has really set rules. the bar when it comes to especially to K1 and kickboxing. Brandon's gone over there and fought the best of the best. Mr. I'm sure he's taken that experience and he's coming back here today to fight in this Trans-Pacific showdown. So after he fought in the World Cup World Championships, he flew back, fought six days later on DFC. In the Diamondback, yeah. And, and, and won in the TK on the first round, man. This guy is just super busy for a heavyweight, man. It's just unreal. And don't let the eight fights fool you. This guy, like we said, last knees of fury, murked a guy with almost 50 fights. No, almost 60 fights. Almost 60 fights, sorry. So... This, this eight fights means nothing. Nah. This guy can throw down with the best of them, and we're about to see that. He keeps proving it time and time again, so here he goes. He comes out with some serious intent, and he wants to hurt his opponent. Leg kick straight out the gate. Man, Brando's coming hard straight away. He is not here to fuck spiders. Oh, he's oh, rocking already. He's oh, him oh, already. Oh, he goes down quick already. Man, Brando. He rocked him in that left hook straight up and he capitalized on it. He saw it straight away and he can see it in his eyes now. No, Look no at the deviation. Intensity. Yeah, he is, he is staring through the soul of his opponent right now. Oh, man, he is coming hard. Nah. Taking the knee again, that's and the second knockdown. Junior does not want to be there right now, in I, my opinion. I wouldn't want to be there either, to be honest. He's hesitant with his yes to the referee there. 
I feel like Junior's not really wanting to be in this fight. He's felt the power and he doesn't want to be there anymore. And oh, Brando wow. unloading wow. on Junior. Wow. I feel like Bernie needs to step in here. This is this is not competitive. He's not really doing a lot to defend himself. Junior needs to be more aggressive. He needs to throw something to stop Brandon oh, from loading big on one. And there yeah. it is. Man, Brando might have expended a lot of energy trying to finish him there. And if Junior... Oh, oh! Big right hand from Brando. Oh, uh, that's it. That's out. it. Oh. No? Bernie's giving him the better for the doubt here. I feel like that fight could have been stopped there. Yeah, it definitely could have. If Junior can keep landing those hits, though, if he can keep tagging Brando, it might make him a little bit more hesitant to unload on him like he is. But if you're going to let him unload like that, you're going to be in a world of trouble. Oh, he's giving it back. He's giving it back. That's a K1 fight, and it is... Would like to see Bruce. Oh, like oh, yeah. yeah. What a first round. Plus. Super fight tonight, man, look at this action in the replay, man. Brando. Bang, there's that left hook. Jesus. Man, you cannot deny the power of the Balkan Bear. Have a look at the speed on him too for someone that size. No, you definitely can't. And at four years old, he fought off a real bear on his own. So <laughs> this is probably no real challenge to the Balkan Bear. <laughs> Good boxing from Brando in that first round, though. And if he keeps that up, I can't see this round getting to the end. Junior needs to get some respect here. Yeah, he definitely does. And he needs to open up a little bit more. Oh! Oh, and Brando tags him again. Oh, Junior's in a little bit of trouble here. He's bowed up in the corner. Brando's... He is. He is in a world of trouble. Now this being a K1 match, I'm surprised Bernie's not breaking up when Brando grabs on with both hands. I think they changed it before they... I, I think they called it Mod Thai at the start of this oh, fight. Oh, okay. I must be mistaken. Man, props to Junior for hanging in there. Yeah, he's, he's showing some real heart at the moment. That left hook from Brando is money. Brandon's got a 100% finish right here, so if Junior can just make it to the end of this fight, he's doing a lot better than the last six opponents Brando's put away. Oh! Whoa! Now modified tyre, we... Strong spinning attack here. Start the car. This I'm, isn't I'm guessing going it's allowed. Distance. Yeah, it's, like it's allowed. I mean, Bernie's not stepping in. He's been here for a long time. You would assume that something would have been said there. Perfect timing on that spinning back this though from Brando. Yeah, Rando. definitely. Better than Zach attack. <laughs> Man, how tough is Junior? Yeah. He is, uh, he's showing some real heart. He's been he's knocked down, what, shots five, five times? Four times, four. five times, yeah. He's, he's, uh, yeah, he's hanging in there. And, he, and he's holding his own. Made yeah. it to the third round now. Now this we can see where Brando's gas tank's at. We know the Red Star fighters have got gas tanks. But being 126 kilos, throwing that amount of power in your shots, it takes a toll on you. I believe Norrie just said no spinning back fists. I believe that's the rule coming in because it's modified tie. Modified tie. And that, look, look, like we pointed out, we were questioning that spinning back fist. We've had 
word from the head official, Nori Balako. No spinning back fist for the rest of this fight. We've got Looks one like more it. round. Looks Seconds like out. This one, the third and final round. Let's see if we get to the end of this third round. This fight sponsored by Nico. Another fight sponsored by Nico. Shop fitting needs. Wow. Brando opening up hard. Oh, oh, here he goes again. He's landed, found a home for that right hand twice there, and Junior's just stood up to it. Man, give Jun it to Junior, man. Far out. Him and his corner must know he's down, and he's coming out hard this round. And anything can happen in this 100-plus division. Anyone can be knocked out by anyone. That's right. These guys possess some serious power. Ooh, that knee was dangerously close to being a bit of a low blow. <laughs> if, they, if they come over these ropes, man, I'm just running. <laughs> if these boys come over I'm this just, rope, we are getting I'm out of here. I'm just getting out of here. I'm not even trying to catch that. Let them hear you. Let fire up these big boys. Brando looks like he's starting to feel the pressure. Like... Starting to slow down a tiny bit. Still got a ton of power though, obviously. Yeah, and he's still throwing within 10 each time he throws too. Bernie trying to get in between these two monsters and break them up. I feel like we may need a bigger referee. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Junior coming Whoa, forward Junior now. Junior walking forward, putting Brando on the back foot. But Brando answers. Oh, I got a left kick there from Brando. Shot's coming out a little bit slower now. Junior. Oh, oh Brando him tags him with that right hook. Man, these boys are scrapping. Yeah, super tough by both these guys. Whoa, yeah, alive. Great boy. fight. Time. Six boys. These are Junior's three. done better than six of the other opponents of Brando's four and beat six knockouts from six wins, two losses. One of them only coming recently to an absolutely credible opponent. I think Brando's done enough here to come away with a win, though. Oh, Those yeah. couple of droppages in the first round probably sealed the deal for him really early on. A couple of droppages. Droppages. Stoppages, droppages, <laughs> whatever you want. Bloody, I'm making up words here tonight. <laughs> a droppage, I like it. It's a droppage. We'll stick with that. A <laughs> couple of eight counts. Knockdowns, mate. Knockdowns. That, that's their correct term you're Beat looking downs. for. <laughs> Beat downs. Knockdowns. Brando took Junior down Beat Down Boulevard in round number one tonight. <laughs> he did, yeah, he did. Yeah, I don't, yeah, obviously I think Brando won that fight. I think that's a, it's a pretty clear cut decision. But Junior surviving, I mean, he's done a lot better than the, the last uh, New Zealander that's come over in Fort Brando. Yeah, with almost 60 fights. Yep. A lot more pressure and uh, Brando rose to the occasion then. Still had a great fight, no doubt about it. Yeah, great fight. It's good. Sometimes it's good, you know, he got a, he got a, he's had a few first round stoppages and now he's actually been pushed to the distance. It's a good learning curve as well. You know? Yeah, you definitely don't want him to fall into that that thought that you're going to stop everyone in the first round. Exactly. Then you get hurt, you get hit, That's and right. someone pushes you, and then you kind of don't know what to do. That's right. So it's good for him to get this early in his career to see that he can be pushed to the distance, and he has got that, that gas tank to push forward and, and continue to win a fight. Right there, the judge's decision is unanimous. Your winner, Brenda! And there you have it, Brando winning again, main event for Knees of Fury 79. Big Brando getting the job done once again. The guy's a killer. He is a straight up killer. Now, if you've enjoyed Patty and I's uh, commentary tonight, be sure to check out our podcast, Gorilla Cast, on Cast.
on SoundCloud. We're getting Ray Kavanagh, who fought tonight, on our next podcast coming up this week. Stay tuned for it. Uh, and a uh, big shout out to Ethan Shep for having us on the show. Big shout out to all the fighters who put their heart and soul into tonight. I know I had a great time. Paddy had a great time. I had a great time. It's good to have you guys join us along for this journey. And just in case you didn't know, the spelling of that is G U E R R I L A cast. All as one word. So it's not gorilla as in the animals, gorilla as in military. Look us up on Facebook, Instagram, Castbox, SoundCloud, and hit us up. Give us a follow. Have a laugh. Next show, local show, last show for the year, Barossa Blitz, December 14. Make sure you get amongst that. Finish off the year with a bang with some great Muay Thai fights, the local SA scene. Hope you guys have enjoyed the show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. And that's us us out. Peace. Peace.